a very good morning one and all present over here i satyam pare welcome you all on behalf of iss college of pharmacy in the iss cp dialogue series under the aegis of iqac and iic of iss cp moga punjab so friends today we have professor dr v gopal sir as our expert of the day welcome you sir Welcome you, sir. Uh, am I audible? Thank you, sir. Yeah, okay. you are audible. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, so, Dr. V. Gopal sir, working as professor and head Department of Pharmacology, Principal College of Pharmacy, and Registrar Mata Theresa, Post Graduate and Research Institute of Health Science, a government of Pondicherry institution. Sir is doing it. Uh, sir has very vast experience in the the pharmacy field. and uh, the uh, in field in the field of pharmacy he uh, doing so many wonderful jobs uh, like uh, sir has doing his bachelor's in 1990 from government college of pharmacy bangalore his masters in 1992 from lm college of pharmacy ahmedabad gujarat he was done his doctor of philosophy in 1996 from gujarat university ahmedabad gujarat he also done mba in education management in 2008 from alagappa university karikudi tamil nadu in 2017 he was done pgdca from alagappa university karikudi tamil nadu sir also received so many awards such as the he received Bharat Sevak Award Best Academic Administrator Award 2021, Eminent Teacher Award in 2020, Eminent Speaker Award in 2020, Outstanding Community Service Award in 2019, Achievement Award for Excellence in Pharmacy Education, Anai Theresa Award in 2017, National Best Teacher Award in 2017, Kalvi Sundar Oli RBS POTS Journal Club Award 2017, Journal of Comprehensive Pharmacy Best Teacher Award 2016, App Appreciation Award in 2015, Morunthail Mamani in 2014, Certificate of Appreciation for Promoting Voluntary Blood Donation for the Year 2016-14 and 2013, Teachers Award 2012, Saiva Tamil Talavar Best Performing College Award for the Year 2007 and 2019. Best Teacher Award in 2006 and Siddhanatha Ratnam Award also he received some professional achievement achievements also he have in the field of pharmacy that that is ex chairman education regulation committee coordinator ER 2020 and central council member of pharmacy council of India and member of the ethics committee of the PCI also sir has ex member of the all india board of pharmaceutical education all india council of technical education aicte new delhi and expert committee member of the aicte for the approval of undergraduate and postgraduate courses in pharmacy also an ex member of aicte southern regional committee member of cpet strategic committee also an expert member of approval process inspections of aicte nba and pci scrutiny committee member of aict represented aict and pci in ugc inspection elected as member of the national managing body of indian red cross society and nominated as member of the disaster management committee and medical maternity and child welfare committee of irps from 2013 to 17 nominated by the government of india as member of siddha pharmacopeal committee and member of the siddha advisory board nominated by the government of puducherry as vice president of the management committee of the indian red cross society puducherry branch appointed as designated officer of the monetary cell department of drug control government of puducherry ex member puducherry state pharmacy council 
चेयरमैन आईसीबीएसई एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटल इन ऑप्टेनिंग नेट ए ग्रेड फॉर एम सी पी जी एंड आर आई एच एस चेयरमैन ए आई ए सी एम सी पी जी एंड आर आई एच एस मेंबर सेक्रेटरी बस एक मिनट में नाइन मेंबर ऑफ आई पी एस सी ए पी सी आई आई सी आई किसका है लेक्चर एकेडमिक एक्टिविटीज सर है वेरियस एकेडमिक एक्टिविटीज इन टू थ्रू आउट द पीरियड ऑफ इज लाइफ लाइक हैंडलिंग क्लासेस फॉर द पास्ट थर्टी इयर्स एट ऑल लेवल्स ऑफ फार्मेसी एजुकेशन विद बी फॉर्म बी फॉर्म एम फॉर्म एंड एम बी ए हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट एंड अप्रूव गाइड फॉर पी एच डी स्टडीज ऑफ नाइन यूनिवर्सिटीज थर्टी पी एच डी स्कॉलर्स है डॉक्टरेट डिग्री अंडर माई गाइडेंस अंडर हिज गाइडेंस एंड सेवन आर इन दाइप लाइन एजुकेटेड टू जीरो वन पी एच डी थेसिस फ्रॉम नाइनटी यूनिवर्सिटी गाइडेड थर्टी नाइन एम फॉर्म स्टूडेंट गाइडेड एम बी रिसर्च प्रोडक्ट ऑल्सो examiner at all level of pharmacy education b pharm b pharm m pharm and so many branches of pharmacy pharmaceutical management for 15 universities and two boards of medical education chairman board of studies and ug and pg intern intern school board of medicine and member of affiliation committee of pondicherry university language he known so many languages telugu tamil english kannada hindi gujarati german Gujarat University, Alliance Franchise, Sanskrit. So, sir has very vast knowledge in the language field also. Countries he visited: Australia, Melbourne, Adelaide, Sydney, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Malaysia, and Singapore. So, there are so many teachers in our uh, today's uh, guest. Uh, that is uh, that is Dr. V. Gopal. Uh, sir, before we starting the lecture, I request our director sir to please enlighten the program. डॉक्टर so thank you very much sir for accepting our invitation i welcome you from core of my heart and uh, without taking time i just give you the brief information related to this isf dialogue series purpose behind of this dialogue series to connect some of the people those who are doing the excellent work in this field and they provide the very basic and uh, motivational talk also for our youngster so that they can do the work in their field like that so you are the one of the wonderful uh, you can say experienced person very very dedicated for the profession so welcome you sir and i am again thankful to you for accepting our invitation without taking time i welcome you sir please deliver a talk sir. thank you very much sir thank you sir. thank you thank you thank you very much sir uh, now i request our guest uh, to please start the topic uh, uh, his lecture on the topic that is current strategies in pharma research 2023 uh, sir uh, please start your lecture thank you sir happy morning to one and all the most respected chairman of isf college of pharmacy the dynamic and a person with a love for his profession the director cum principal of isf college of pharmacy the vice principal the beautiful moderator of this program and my dear cute intelligent ever smiling bright students at the outset i would like to congratulate the iqac of isf college of pharmacy for having organized this beautiful program and i am able to see it is a series of programs many stalwarts are brought here for the benefit of all the students and it is made as a youtube series so congratulations to the entire team for this excellent work and thank you for having given me this wonderful opportunity of interacting with the enlightened minds the topic on which i am going to deliberate in the next half an hour 
is current strategies in pharma research 2023 pharma sciences is based on two words one is discover and another one is research in nature everything is covered you remove the cover that is called a discover you search you will find something you search again you will find something better so searching again and again is called research so discover and research they are the two words they are the catchy words they are the keywords of pharma sciences so both the strategy of research in pharma sciences based on these two keywords discover and research they have a philosophy that is number 1 moving from unknown to known you don't know something and you want to know something so moving from unknown to known so that is the first step when you move from unknown to known the next step is moving from known to known so that is a easy step there comes the application part of it and next step is still important when you move from known to known you should prevent moving from known to unknown so that is very dangerous so you should never come back you should never come back from known to unknown and the last step is we should never move in the direction of unknown to unknown so this is the philosophy of research in pharma sciences i can give you some very good examples number 1 we will take grapes in those days the fruit grape was a native variety then people felt that the seed in the grape that is inconvenient for them to consume so with the help of a science called parthenocarpy they came out with grapes which do not have seed so the seedless grapes they started coming but again as i said research is a catchy word out of research they found out that the seed of grapes have a beautiful compound called resveratrol which is having excellent pharmacological activity and now people are again going back to grapes with the seed so you can see this circle we had grapes with a, we had grapes with the seed native variety then we went on parthenocarpy we had seedless grapes and then again we have come to grapes with seed so this is research my dear friends in those days we all were fond of eating apples benjamin franklin said an apple a day keeps the doctor and the dentist away and i don't know how many of you know that benjamin franklin was also a pharmacist so everybody started consuming apple but now people are more concentrating on the appearance of apple so that what do they do they take wax and then they polish the apple so that is called apple polishing so if you buy apple and then if you just scrap the outer layer you can find wax that wax is not good it is harmful so now we have to find methods how to clean apple off the wax and consume apple so this research is endless so it is going on so in this 2023 what are the strategies in pharma research we are going to discuss my dear friends here in the picture you are able to see a bird that bird is called as huns huns is a, a endangered or extinct bird it is not available or you cannot see it in this world now it was there in yester years if you go to lucknow there is one institute called birbal sahani's institute of paleo botany so in that they have documented about this bird called hans hans is the vehicle of goddess saraswati the goddesses of learning what will hans do hans will separate water from milk so uh, in ancient text they have mentioned about this bird hans but today in science they are able to find out how this bird is able to separate water from milk it is very simple all of us know that milk is an emulsion so this is a bird that has saliva and this bird cannot spit the saliva the saliva will overflow so when this bird dips the beak with the saliva into milk then the isoelectric point of milk is reached 
so the milk emulsion will break when the emulsion milk breaks then the casein the milk protein it will all sediment down and on the top you can find wave water so this bird will eat the casein the precipitated milk protein and leave the water so this is the philosophy of how this bird hunts is able to separate water from milk and this separation and identification is the uh, basic principle of chromatography all of us say sweat he discovered chromatography but in india many many years back here they have documented about a bird that can separate and identify so this is science so we need to understand the greatness of, of the knowledge of our forefathers so there begins the science in india especially the pharma science so i was mentioning about that four philosophies in that one philosophy is called moving from known to known so in this 2023 90% of the research is moving from known to known a fundamental research has been done now you apply this fundamental research on various areas where you will be able to have a successful beginning like for example we all know that students are interested in learning so they know the fundamentals now they should have an objective they should write the information that the students know so what i know next is write the information what they want to know so do you know where they are in the that is the baseline now you know their objective where they want to go now bridging this gap so that is research that is from where you are to where you want to go how you want to go so all this put together forms the research in pharma practice here you are able to see one bird uh, one beetle this beetle is called rhinoceros beetle so this beetle uh, it has a very strong skin even if you plunge a knife into it it will not die you burn it nothing will happen you bury it nothing will happen so this rhinoceros beetle started eating the tender shoots of coconut trees so the coconut farmers they were affected by this beetle so the indian council of agriculture research they found one medicine where they inject it into the conductive tissue and so the the, the shoots of coconut trees they have this pesticide when this beetle eat that shoot the pesticide kills this beetle but what happens is next 6 months you cannot use the coconut from that tree so it becomes useless so all the research done has become useless now some uh, coconut tree climbers they studied the anatomy of this beetle and then they found that in between the head and the thorax they have a soft neck so on the tender coconut shoots they put sieved sand fine sand so when this beetle tries to go through the shoot and eat the shoot the sand goes in between the head and the neck and when the beetle is eating like this so there is uh, uh, what you call wound in the neck and this wound with the sand kills this beetle and physically this beetle is eliminated so once this beetle is eliminated the next day you can use the coconut nothing happens so this is environmentally safe and it is very effective so uh, as i said uh, in nature everything is covered you have to remove the cover and when you do research you search you find something and again you search you will find something better and always you should keep moving from unknown to known and from known to known and you should prevent moving from known to unknown and moving from unknown to unknown so for doing research the first quality that is required is power of observation so as students you should develop this power of observation i am showing you a person who has excellent power of observation so he is called palpu pushpangadan 
the government of india has conferred him with padma shri he was the director of tropical botanical research institute and he when he was going with his students on agarwala hills so uh, all the students were very energetic but he was very tired so he asked the students my dear students you are all very energetic but uh, i am very tired how is it so the students said sir some tribals are helping us to carry our luggage they are chewing the leaves of trichopus zylanicus so we also have taken the leaves and we are chewing it so we are not feeling tired so uh, dr pushpangadan took the leaf of trichopus zylanicus from his students and started chewing it so he felt very energetic so he came back he did research on this plant trichopus zylanicus and he has come out with phyto constituents that are adaptogenic anti stress so with that he was able to make formulations and these formulations are now sold abroad and in india and he has generated lot of money and all the money that he has generated from his discovery he has given it back to the tribals so the tribal welfare the tribals have been given insurance he has started schools he has started a clinic there so the tribals have benefited from the tribal knowledge and for that the government of india has given padma shri to dr pushpangadan so the research of dr pushpangadan on medicinal plants is dependent on the power of observation i said no the power of observation is very important so now in your family there could be a grandmother there could be a grandfather so they will know the medicinal properties of plants available in your region so what are all the medicinal properties available in your region you can document it and the government of india has come out with a beautiful thing called traditional knowledge digital library it is called as tkdl so when you go through your website you can find out the website of traditional knowledge digital library in that you can upload all the information that you have documented from your grandfather grandmother related to medicinal plants and use of plants in medicine so this will prevent others from patenting our our medicinal plants so that is very important so in research today because of modernization and because of globalization the research is now taking a different turn so what is the turn that it is taking i can explain the turn taken up by the pharma research because of globalization with the help of a beautiful compound that is called curcumin curcumin is present in turmeric turmeric we have been using in india for the past 12000 years but two indians they have gone to america and they have got patent for america on turmeric against india so it took 6 months for us to understand that our turmeric has been patented in american patent office and we had to fight with the help of dr marshall kar who was the chairman of csir and in the international court we had to fight and get back turmeric now here that is why i said all our knowledge will have to be documented in traditional knowledge digital library once it is documented in traditional knowledge digital library then the information is available in public domain any information available in public domain cannot be patented so that is why i requested all the viewers of this youtube series to document what all knowledge you have on medicinal plants in traditional knowledge digital library a government of india's beautiful project now we will go back to this turmeric in india this turmeric is used in all auspicious occasions for marriage when a child is born everywhere we make use of turmeric even when we are writing a letter an invitation a marriage invitation we are keeping turmeric on all the four sides so when we are trying to bless somebody we are mixing turmeric with rice and then we are blessing so the ladies they have vermilion so we call it as kumkum 
So this is also made up of turmeric. In the kitchen, they are using turmeric. In cook, uh, in cookery, they are using turmeric. In temple, they are using turmeric. So this turmeric has curcumin, and here you can see this curcumin is having multi-targeting. It can target many diseases. I can you can see this uh, slide. So here for skin disease, psoriasis, vitiligo, turmeric is having excellent activity, and that activity is because of one phytoconstituent called curcumin. Apart from this, there are many phytoconstituents in turmeric. That is different. But curcumin has been scientifically proven to be beneficial in the management of psoriasis and vitiligo. Next, you go to metabolic disease for diabetes, diabetic microangiopathy, diabetic nephropathy. For all this, curcumin is excellently having. For inflammatory diseases, you can see one full lot of inflammatory disease. Uh, Crohn's, gastric ulcer, uh, and then irritable bowel syndrome, peptic ulcer. So for all this, curcumin is very effective. For viral disease, for AIDS, it is very effective. For cancer, how many types of cancer can be cured and prevented because of turmeric? And then for neurogenerative disease, Alzheimer's disease, other diseases. So one compound having multiple targets. So that is why our forefathers were using turmeric in throughout uh, their life, in all auspicious occasions, in daily food, in daily habits, everywhere this turmeric was used. Why turmeric is having so many uh, pharmacological properties? Now, here in this slide, you can see the various cancers against which curcumin has potential for prevention and treatment. Today, cancer is a very big killer. So we need prophylaxis. We need to prevent ourselves from cancer. And for that, this curcumin is very much useful. You can see that entire list, gastrointestinal cancer. Next, genitourinary cancer. Brain tumor, breast cancer, gynecological cancer, thoracic cancer, melanoma, bone cancer, hematological cancer. So I am not just giving, I have given you a reference also. So Anand Ital in his cancer letters have documented the scientific evidence for the usefulness of curcumin in the management, prevention and treatment of cancer. So such a beautiful compound cancer uh, uh, can be healed by this curcumin. But uh, today, when you go to the market and when you buy this curcumin and then when you put it in water, you can see that the water uh, layer is being colored. So that is a chemical that is added to enhance the appearance of curcumin. So this chemical that is added to enhance the appearance of curcumin is carcinogenic. It is a dye. I said curcumin is useful for treating cancer. But to enhance the appearance of curcumin, we are using a dye which is carcinogenic, which is cancer causing. So this is dangerous. The government of India has come out with something called DART. D-A-R-T. Detect adult trends with rapid test. Detect adult trends with rapid test. You go to website, you go to FSSAI, Food Standards and Security Authority of India. In that, there is DART. Detect adult trends with rapid test. In that, they have given this test for curcumin. So now, as a pharmacist, it is our duty to create awareness that next time, when you buy turmeric, you take the comb and then you put it in water. In water, it should not give any color. If it is giving color, then there is an artificial dye and that dye is carcinogenic. This is not only the case with rhizome. You take, for example, the powder. Today, we don't have time to prepare turmeric powder. We are all buying the powder from the market. The ready-made powder, when you add it to water, the water should not get color. If there is color, then it is adulterated. Please don't use it because it is adulterated with a carcinogenic dye. So I'm showing here in the diagram, these are taken from DART, detect adulterants with rapid test. So what is important here, as I said, is this turmeric, which we have been using yesterday, today, 
and we will be using it tomorrow but science has proved the usefulness of turmeric but we are able to detect this usefulness of turmeric is being abused by the appearance enhancing dyes so we should be cautious about it so the modernization and globalization has now given a challenge to science so because of modernization and globalization the demand is more everything is money everything is profit when profit enters ethics goes back when ethics is not there then science will have to take up a different route and what is that route science will have to take up is using the power of literature survey today when we are all doing research the very important part is literature survey we go through abstracts chemical abstracts biological abstracts uh, pharmaceutical abstracts and then we go through various uh, sources of literature and then based on this literature survey we can carry out research at a different level i can give you one example there is one ayurvedic formulation called trifala in ayurveda the same trifala when you take it with sugar you it is used for peptic ulcer the same trifala you take it with hot water it is used as a laxative the same trifala you take it with honey it is used for kapha disease the same trifala when you take it with ghee it is used for pitta disease so the same with salt it is used for vada disease the same when you use it as a powder it is for astringent action on the gums when you ash it it is for asthma so when you put it in water boil and take it is for liver disease so when you mix it with oil it is for healing wounds so when you make a fast pack so it improves the collagen and the melanin uh, distribution in the skin when you mix it with ghee and honey then it promotes eyesight so in ayurveda one simple compound with various vehicles have different pharmacological activity now the challenge in between the pharmaceutical science and the traditional knowledge is to scientifically prove this traditional knowledge so for that the most useful research science is combinatorial chemistry and high throughput screening so here you are able to see some diagram so this diagram is based on the use of trifala as a multi targeting agent and it has been proved by mr chandran et al uh, through the help of combinatorial chemistry and high throughput screening based on in silico studies they have proved the traditional use of trifala in multi targets so this is the latest trend of research which we will have to carry out and we will have to associate ourselves with this research for the benefit of mankind and for understanding the depth of knowledge of our forefathers i can give you one more example take for example fenugreek methi so fenugreek seeds they have number of phytoconstituents i have cited some phytoconstituents four hydroxy isoleucine so this is present in fenugreek and because of that it is having insulinotropic activity the same fenugreek has diosgen and trigonolin so both of them what do they do they inhibit enzymes and they inhibit genes like for example it is useful in the management and prevention of cancer the same fenugreek is having dietary fiber which reduces gastric clearance rate and so it is helpful in obesity so you can say one single fenugreek is having multiple targets in india especially in south india the breakfast that we have is called idli rice cake in idli they add fenugreek why do they add fenugreek in idli it is for this reason so it prevents diabetes it uh, manages bad cholesterol and uh, it is very much helpful uh, in prophylaxis against cancer so this and all are the things that have to be scientifically proven and that is the challenge in between a traditional knowledge and pharma science in 2023
here i am showing you one compound called chikri uh, abroad in foreign countries this chikri is having lot of scope in india this chikri from chikri intibus was used in yesteryears this chikri is having the highest amount of soluble fiber today most of the diseases are because of lack of soluble fiber so the soluble fiber is present in maximum in chikri and chikri also has a compound called inulin which is very much helpful for our digestion so for our normal health digestion is important for digestion chikri is important in yester years we were using chikri along with coffee but now we have discontinued the use of chikri but again science has proved the beneficial effects of chikri so abroad in foreign countries like america great britain they are using chikri and in future again we will be start using chikri so this is the modern pharma uh, sciences research so the power of linking based through process so this is the catch word of pharma research 2023 we all know the person on this photograph is samuel hanneman he is the person he is the father of homeopathy so when he had taken the bark of cinchona he had the symptoms of malaria without having malaria so from that he did one experiment and he has become the father of homeopathy that is called like cures like a yeah, healthy man who takes the bark of cinchona develops the symptoms of malaria a malarial patient takes the bark of cinchona he becomes healthy so like cures like so this theoretical experiment plus practical experiment and the philosophy has given rise to a beautiful system of medicine that is called homeopathy so such research is the need of the hour in 2023 post covid so post covid we have a different type of uh, disease based on genetics based on lifestyle and based on the pollution so to overcome from this three way attack we need to take our research to a different level and for that we need the power of involvement we need to involve ourselves in understanding the science behind our traditional knowledge so our forefathers has given us wonderful knowledge in the name of ayurveda siddha naturopathy amchi tibb system of medicine so as pharmacist it is our duty to do research on the traditional knowledge of our forefathers and prove to the world the benefits of natural products in preventing disease in curing disease today the modern world is involved in managing disease so rather than managing disease curing the disease is very important and as pharmacists we should take up research on curing the disease and coming out with a healthy world health for all by 2030 can be achieved by pharmacists by carrying out research on the traditional knowledge on the use of natural products drugs from plants animals minerals marine organisms microorganisms so all this research will culminate in making ourselves healthy in making and boosting our immunity so that we can overcome the modern modified diseases and we can be healthy so we need to concentrate on cure rather than management we need to concentrate on prophylaxis rather than management so research on cure and prophylactic medicine is the need of the hour we shall concentrate on this with the help of innovative thinking with the help of observation with the help of in depth in between lines reading literature survey and on networking research we need to join hands somebody will have knowledge on cognacy somebody will have knowledge on chemistry somebody will be having knowledge on sutics somebody will be having knowledge on pharmacology so when we all network 
then we can come out with wonderful products for the benefit of mankind i think i have highlighted and inspired my budding students on the importance of carrying out research on traditional knowledge please take up one such project for your life and make the society understand the greatness of pharmacy pharmacist and pharmaceutical research i thank the organizers for this wonderful opportunity and looking forward for meeting you in person in some conferences workshops seminars and the like have a wonderful day thank you thank you one and all in short sir thank you sir for your very important and uh, informative lecture that is uh, very useful and easy to understand for all our pharmacy professionals as well as students this will definitely very useful for listeners and viewers of our field too i request to all the listeners and viewers please put your queries if any related to this talk in chat box we will reply very soon sir before closing the session once again i heartily thankful to professor dr v gopal sir for accepting our invitation on very short period of time and sharing your valuable expertise for the budding pharma professionals thank you very much sir and uh, thanks to all uh, very very thankful to you all listeners and viewers uh, now the session is uh, end here so i request you to please uh, uh, log out from the series thank you sir thank you very much sir uh, just a minute sir